Hi friends! Today is going to be our first ever edition of These Books Will Self-Destruct in 12 Months. I got this idea from Back End the Books who I will link down below. Essentially it is where a few years ago she listed 10 to 12 books. I don't remember what the exact number was, but listed some books that she had to read within 12 months. And if she didn't read those books, then they were unhauled. So as you know, I have a shit ton of books. I guess I should say, as you may know, because some of you may be new. Hello, new people. I have a shit ton of unread books on my TBR. I think at the beginning of this month, it was 117, which is not terrible well, considering I think 2019, we started around 240. So we're like halfway there but also it's a disaster because most of the books that are on my unread TBR are books that I've had for two or more years. So because I hate to unhaul something without at least trying it, I thought this would be a good way to kind of motivate myself to at least pick these up and try them sometime in the next 12 months. I don't know. We'll see. Basically, what you need to know is I'm going to give you a list of 10-ish books and if I haven't done if I haven't read that book or done what I'm considering a qualification to me keeping that book, then they are going to be gone at the end of the year. Okay, let's start. We're going to start off with a big one that I cannot hold up for you right now. Um, but that is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. I own this entire series. Now, I have loaned them out. I do have a friend that's borrowing them currently, but I also own every single audiobook. I own physical copy and an audiobook of the entire series. Guess how many I've read? Two. I read one, I think, in 2019 and one earlier this year. So my requirement for me keeping these books on my shelves will be that I must have read at least two more by the end of 2022 or they go in because I'm crawling through them and I'm continuing to read them because like they're okay, but they're not great. And I want to know more of like the world and the world building and the things, but I'm not so interested that I immediately pick up the next thing. And it's not because I'm afraid of what I'm going to read next. It's because it's just okay. So I need to have read two more books in that series by the end of the year or they're out of here. Next is Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. I have had this book since 2016. 2016. That's five years. I've had the opportunity to read this book and I have not. What do I know about this book? I know that this book is centered around a girl who was betrothed to like a crown prince and she has to go to that town, that kingdom, um, to try to like get closer to him. But I think instead she falls in love with his sister. So like that premise sounds great to me. Sounds fantastic. Why have I not picked it up? I don't know. But hopefully this will push me to do so. Next is Because You Love to Hate Me. This is an anthology that includes names like Renee Audier, Amory, Saman Chanani, Susan Dennard, Sarah Enney, Marissa Meyer, Cindy Pond, Victoria Schwab, Samantha Shannon, Adam Silvera, Andrew Smith, April Genevieve Tuholke, Nicola Yoon, in collaboration with 13 booktubers. I have probably had this book on a monthly TBR six or seven times and I never get to it. Why? I don't know, because I typically enjoy anthologies. Like I don't love anthologies. There's never been one where I've loved every book, but there's usually at least one or two short stories where I am like so in love with them that I have to know more. Do we ever get more? No, but I'm still obsessed with some of them. So this is on the list. Next is This Beast, except only kind of, sorta. So this is Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights by Emily and Charlotte Bronte. This is like a bind up of the two. I need to read at least one of these two books by the end of this year or it's out of here. We all know that I have problems with classics. I've had this on my shelves since 2016 as well and it really just needs to either be read or be sent off to a new home. The Song Will Save Your Life by Layla Sales. I'm not sure why this one keeps getting put off but I need to read it and I figured this is the best way to force myself to do it. I don't really know a lot of what this is about but I know it deals with some kind of like teenage musician thing and you know that's my jam so I should have read this like a million years ago. This one's gonna be a little weird. Flamecaster and Shadowcaster by Cinda Williams Chima. So follow me on this one okay? 
I bought these two books not knowing that there is a series that comes before these two books. Is it necessary to read the other series to get these? No. These take place 25 years after the other series, but I'm that person that when something is connected, I want to read it chronologically because I don't want any spoilers for like outcomes of how people end up. So I need to read these in order. I haven't picked these up because I need to read the entirety of the Seven Realm series before I pick this up. So while it's not actually on my physical unread TBR, I need to read The Demon King, which is book one in the Seven Realm series, by the end of the year so that I know that I'm working towards these two at least, or these two are going. My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga. I'm terrified of this book. Um, I don't know that I knew <laughs> what it was about when I bought it. I just picked it up based off of the title because we always joke about how like, you know, my favorite color is black, like my soul, or my soul is a black heart. Like I have that joke running about my life. And so I picked this book up. This book is about two teenagers that find each other on like a suicide packed website. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle this. So I either need to like try it and see if I'm gonna be able to handle it or just unhaul it because I don't need to keep it on my shelves if it's not something that I feel like I can read. Heirs of Fate by Amara Luciano. I pulled this for a try a chapter tag in 2020 and I read the first chapter and I liked it enough to keep it but I haven't read any more of it since then. So clearly I need a push to either finish it or DNF it. Written and Read by Ann Bishop. Same deal. Read the first chapter in a try a chapter tag. It may have been the same try a chapter tag. And I enjoyed the first chapter. It was a lot more gory and bloody and like dark than I expected it to be, but I enjoyed it. But I also haven't picked it up again since then. So I either need to read it or let it go. And the last book that I'm gonna put on this list is My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton and Jody Meadows. I think this was also a 2016 book that I picked up. I've had it for years and I've literally never even thought about picking it up. So either I need to read it or not. And this, this is why we're doing this people. So those were the 10 books that I either need to read or unhaul by the end of December 2022. Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these, if you think there's any that I should prioritize, or if there's any that you're like, you're not gonna like it anyway. So I would love your opinion on them. If you have done a video like this, let me know because these are pretty interesting. I'm pretty excited to like check out if anybody's planning on doing these for the new year or not. Let me know. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!